we are back with more random battles to the top, and we're in the top 500 right now. Let me actually see if I can pull that up. Or maybe not, we'll get a game first, but... This should be updated fast enough, right? Yeah, we are 447, which is pretty good. We haven't been in the top 500 for a while, but let's see if we can maybe hit 2200. That's kind of easy, to be honest. I think we can we can make a serious push towards number one. It's 2544, which is a lot, but we can do it. All right. They have a lead Mew. <laughs> Look at all the moves Mew has. If it's a lead, it might be like a Stealth Rock variant, right? That is a lot of different moves. Well, um, let's just get damage off. I could tear a Wave Crash and one-hit KO. Actually, it doesn't one-hit KO, but yeah, let's just get damage off. Okay. Stealth Rock, yeah. So that's like an okay trade for me, trading that much damage for Stealth Rock. Kind of annoying for Salazzle, but I can't- I couldn't have stopped it from getting up. So that's about as good as it was going to get. Roaring Moon taking 40? 59, wow. Okay. Oh, we outspeed too? That's another KO. Okay, Basque Legion, this is a very good lead matchup. Bronzong is going to faint. No, even Terra Water doesn't KO. Do- like- I don't think keeping Basque Legion alive is really high value. We'll just get more damage. Um, Hypnosis. I could Sleep Fodder here. I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I think that was worth it. Now we have a knockoff into Colossal. Okay. And keeping that Sleep Fodder is probably a good idea. I think, anyway. Fire move coming in, we'll go to Eternatus here. Eternatus might win the game because we have Bronze on Weekend. Ooh, that's not a good dodge. We wanted to get hit by that to drop the special attack. That's fine overall, just annoying. 27... Leftovers revealed. Um, I'm gonna go hard Preserker. The problem is Stomping Tantrum. But I'm gonna go, I think Pitherker is correct. Yeah, okay, good. We outspeed and we have the banded iron head. If they terrestrialize, they go to the fighting type, which I don't mind because it makes them weak to Articuno. I could close combat 2 to hit Colossal as well. Close combat might be the right play. Or I could U turn. Yeah, I'm not scared of the terrestrialization to fi oh, but they can go to steel too. So I think close combat is good for the steel type too. Okay, good. They just give it up. Probably didn't expect banned, but yeah. So we covered steel and even if they were fighting, that's not a threat. They go to Gengar, unfortunately. Is it time to give up Basque Legion? I think so. Nothing wants to take a switch in. Nothing can switch in, rather. Sludge Bomb, no information reveal, but we can try Eternatives. Dynamax Cannon looks good, and I think we're in a very comfortable position. Bronzong, 15. They're probably going to go to Colossal. I'm going to Fire Blast. Okay, good. Colossal again. They don't do enough damage to me. Okay, that's... One way to do it. Critical hit, yeah. We we win. Eternatus can definitely beat the remaining Pokemon. Okay, um I can recover one more time and then sludge bomb. Yeah. Okay, we get the win, we're 2204. 2204 is kind of good. Good lead matchup here. Uh, let's just freeze dry. I think it's better than Yawn. We get a freeze chance too, which is good on whatever comes in. I don't imagine they stay in here. Yeah, I think freeze dry is good. I could Yawn. Honestly, Yawn isn't bad either. But they... I don't want to Yawn into like a, a nasty plot with Chesto. That's not ideal. Freeze dry is my best. 
They go to Blissey. Okay, that's bad for me. Oh, that's really bad for me. I don't match up well into Blissey. It's going to get Stealth Rock up here. The good thing... Does Kyogre with Terra Water break the Blissey? It does 44. Is that with Rain? I don't know if my Calc has Rain in there or not. So I, I think I do... KO. Okay. Let's go Ting Lu for now. Here we go. Yeah, that was gonna go up. We couldn't have stopped it. Which is annoying that we couldn't have, but it is what it is. We'll go Earthquake. Or let's... Body Press in case they go to Moltres Galar. Yeah, or that. Okay, now they're, they're weak to Earthquake. I'm gonna take it. Oh, I, I take that trade. I think I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that trade. But they go to Quagsire, which is a problem. I'll go to Glaceon. Oh, this is gonna be an issue. Let's... We want to get Dragon Ascent in the right spot. Okay. We threaten one-hit KOs. If they ha they gave up the Steel type already. Oh, they're gonna give up. Oh, that's so bad. They gave up Lissy, but we didn't get the KO. That was very likely to KO. But we've gotten it weakened, which means Glacian can win the game now because we've gotten their most important Pokemon weakened. Uh, should I keep Rayquaza alive for Extreme Speed? Okay, Glacian is a match winner. Yeah, let's just go to it right away. Go to the dark type, okay. This is a bit of a problem. Hmm. Agil no, so Chesto Rest or Agility Weakness Policy. I'm gonna yawn. Because I could go to uh, Dash Bun. No. Oh, no, no, I can go to Dash Moon straight away. Yeah, because we always outspeed. That did a lot of damage, but we always outspeed here. And we do guarantee knock it out. Good, good, good. So I think losing Blissey was probably not the right decision. Oh, well, they have Venomoth. Okay. Now we'll have to be careful. I think Assault Vest Ting Lu should be enough to beat it with Reverum being like a worst case scenario. They've given up the Terra already too, which is good. We'll go to Tinglu. Taking a lot of damage though. They Quiver, we always... Earthquake, do I Terra Steel? This, this is Tinted Lens, so it's not... I mean, it's okay, I could Terra Steel, but... Honestly, I could Terra Steel. Why not, right? Yeah, I think Terra Steel is right. Good, good, good. 60? Okay. Heavy Duty Boots. That's good. Oh, they're gonna lose Venomoth. Okay, so Glaceon beats Quagsire. If I can't beat a 5 on 1... Oh, God. They have Cloyster. That is not the Pokemon I wanted to... Uh, see right now. Let's go for body press critical, I mean, super effective damage. So we're gonna have to hope that the Reverum can get the job done here. Which I'm not sure it can. So Gunk Shot does not KO. I'll have to shift gear. Is that... True? Hmm. Is Shift Gear the right play or not? I think I go for Shift Gear and Kyogre can live a hit. Kyogre can live a hit. Let's go Gunk. Oh, they have Drill Run? Okay, that's bad. Okay, so now I... Thunder. 
Okay, that does not KO. That does not KO. And Glacian beats Quagsire now. Okay, good. We'll just sacrifice here, and now Glacian should pick up the Quag. GG, we're at 22-24. The Cloister scared me at the end, but it was never going to beat Kyogre, which was good. Mewtwo into Oricorio? Do I have U-Turn? I don't. Oh, I don't even have Quiver. This is bad. It's not a good moveset. Hmm. I suppose it can take on Mewtwo defensively in a way, but... I'll have to rely on hurricane accuracy. Yeah, this is not ideal. This is not good, but we'll, we'll try it. Defensively, we're going to have to use Oricorio to beat Mewtwo. They go to Tyranitar, okay. So they have a counter to, Z uh, to Oricorio. They, they counter that. I can use this as a chance to get up Stealth Rock. They're gonna use it too, okay. The good news is that Mewtwo switching out of Oricorio makes me think it can't touch it. Like, if you had Dark Pulse, I think you would have gone for it. You would have gone for it because in the worst case scenario, you can always go Tyranitar later. So I, fe I feel like Dark Pulse might have been, if they had it, they would have used it type of thing. But I could be wrong. Okay, they go to their own Oricorio, which is interesting. Kind of bad for me. I'm gonna Whirlwind in case they Quiver. I feel like they, they have Quiver. They could go for damage. Hurricane... Okay, we dodge, which is good. And we reveal Squawk ability with Heavy Duty Boots, okay. This doesn't do a lot of damage to me, but it does an, an annoying amount of damage. Let's slack off, because I feel like maybe they Brave Bird, we can pick up Recoil. Because I'm, I'm going to Whirlwind again. Or not, okay. I thought they would be more scared of Whirlwind. They go to Oricorio. I don't have a switch in. I, I do not switch into the flying type. My team is honestly pretty bad. Like, there's no good Pokemon. Talonflame doesn't do anything. Oricorio, no Quiver doesn't do anything. Wydeer doesn't do anything. Maybe it can Thunder Wave if I get into the right spot, but it's not- these are not good Pokemon. Maybe I can go for like a late game Zamazenta thing. I don't know, but... You too? Okay. Uh, let's just go Oricorio. Yeah, we do not have a good team. We'll have to, we'll have to find a some way to get Zamazenta in, because Zamazenta. But even then, they have two Psychic type Pokemon. What What's the strategy? What's the plan? We have a bad team. We have a bad matchup. How? What's the way we approach it? They're taking a long time to think too, but... Fire. So they're Terra, Fire. So they've burnt their Terra relatively early, which is good. And on a Terra, Fire, Mewtwo, I'm not sure that's the right idea, but... Um, in any case, that doesn't change a lot, does it? We Revenge Kill with Talonflame. Let's just get damage off. Psy Strike does one hit KO so that they don't even have to go for the Fire Blast. Life Orb is annoying because they can switch moves now, but I can take advantage of the recoil. Yeah, like this is a terrible Pokemon. Like a Talonflame without a Talonflame without like boosting or anything, it's just not a good Pokemon. And it's walled by Tyranitar too. They go to Cloth, okay. It's not... Okay, so Cloth with Crab Hammer. So good news, it's a Pokemon weak... It's a good... It's a Pokemon weak to... Zamazenta. That's about as good as it gets, though. Hmm. 
This is gonna have crab hammer sword stands and I can't touch it. Let's go to wider. Wire deer. Yeah. Okay, no life orb. Wow, look at all the items it can have. Okay. They don't have a switch into Thunder Wave. I'm gonna go for that. I actually don't think I've had a, a team this bad before. Like, straight up no good Pokemon. Only Zamazenta is, like, kind of okay. We can get Thunder... Okay, we, we get a Thunder Wave off here. That's good. Now we can... We can Body Slam. 49? That did a lot of damage. Okay, so we remove one Pokemon that honestly we didn't care about too much. Mewtwo is not... It outspeeds them. Mewtwo outspeeds Amazenta. That's an issue, but... Yeah, these two... Okay, they go to Persian here. I... So it's a Pokemon weak to Zamazenta. I don't need Wider anymore. Okay, Life Orb revealed. Maybe... Ooh, I think I've got it. Late game Claude Zire is how I win. I can tear a ground to get out of my weakness to the Psychic type. That's my play. Okay. I figured it out. Let's... I can't believe we have the Damazenta into the one typing that counters it completely. Psychic and flying. I guess fairy and flying too, but this is not ideal. Um... Yeah, that's iron defense. Oh no. Oh, they got it too. Oh, they got it. That's not good. Let's just Behemoth Blash... Behemoth Bash then. Okay, they're gonna give up Persian, which is good for me. Well, maybe they're not gonna give it up, actually. Okay. Come on. Okay, that's good. So my Claude Zire is gonna win the match. I, I, can, I can see it happening. The issue is going to be that Crab Hammer on Cloth. That's going to do a lot of damage to me because I'm unaware and not Water Absorb. I'll have to... I have Curse, right? I have to Curse on the right Pokemon, basically. They they definitely go to Oricorio here. I would think that's the right idea. They're at 10 seconds now. They go to Cloth. Are they going to give me Cloth? They're gonna give me Cloth. That's the Pokemon that beats Claude's Dire. Okay. We're back in the game now. I have Unaware on Claude's Dire, so I don't even care about Quiver. Okay, that's good. Claude's Dire. Yeah. Let's go for it. Okay, that's doing no damage. Let's recover off the damage. And 8 recover should be enough to win. 8 recover should be enough to win. We'll have to stay out of range of Mewtwo and... Um... Like the combination of... Life Orb, Fire Blast, and a Hurricane. Okay. Let's gunk for the one time. Or should I boost in? No, I don't gain a lot by boosting up all the way. Okay. No poison, that's fine. We can recover. Eventually, they have to stop hitting Hurricane. Right? Okay. How much do we need for the Tyranitar? We need one more for Titar. Okay. We want to be at max HP for the Mewtwo. Okay. One more. And then we go for it. Perfect. If we dodge, even better. But this is the right approach. Let's, I don't know why they gave up Cloth. I guess it didn't matter too much in the end, because even if they gave up, even if they didn't give up cloth, we would curse off the damage, right? I mean, we would not take a lot. Okay, here we go. 
We live the hit. We live the hit. Okay, good. Oh, we get burned. That's bad. No, but Hippowdon should beat Tyranitar. Yeah, Hippowdon should beat Tyranitar. Uh, can this dragon dance? It can't. 144. It can have Ice Beam, though. That's annoying. Crunch? Yeah, well, it's annoying. The burn makes it annoying, but we should be fine just using Earthquake two times in a row after we get to max. Okay, that's not good. Here's the Earthquake. Perfect. Okay. Now one more. And we get it. 2242. I'm going to end the episode there. But overall, really fun. Oh, you can't see it. But 2242. And that's pretty good. So we'll see you in the next episode.